Hello and welcome to the SysCard video tutorials. My name is Sergey and today we are going to speak about shipping properties of the products such as weight, freight and box size. Let's roll. We can find the individual shipping properties of the product at the shipping properties tab. The main parameter here is the weight. The weight is measured in pounds. Every product must have the weight. For example, our hoodie weights um, around one pound. The weight influences the cost of the shipping. Uh, let me show you it. Okay, save. Now let's go to the administration, shipping and taxes, shipping methods. Here we have four shipping methods. You can add more if you wish. Okay, FedEx second day. Shipping charges tab. Okay, United States only. Um, we do not cover other countries for now. We speak only about shipping costs in the United States. Okay, weight dependencies. That's what we need. Product's weight. More than uh, zero pounds costs zero, but the product um, that weights more than uh, five pounds. Uh, will cost additional $10. Uh, let me show you how it works. Uh, for this we, we need to go to the storefront and create a new order. I'm going to order my new hoodie, quick view. Um, well, all the parameters is fine. Add to cart. Check out. Don't forget that uh, I created the um, shipping options. Yeah, here we go. That I created, that I added the weight to my product. Okay, custom shipping method $28, uh, FedEx second day free shipping, UPS three day select free shipping, USPS media mail free shipping. Well, let's speak about uh, FedEx for now. Uh, FedEx is free because the weight of a product doesn't exceed the free limit. Now let's change the weight of my product and see the difference. Done. I changed the weight of my product from 1 to 100. And as you can see, all of the methods um, stopped being free and even one of them was deleted from uh, the page. I'll explain a little bit later. Okay, FedEx cost 10 now. UPS cost 20 and that's how the weight dependencies work. Now let's speak about the disappearance of uh, one of the methods. The USPS media mail has disappeared from the page because the weight limit here was exceeded. The USPS can deliver only from 0 to 70 pounds and our hoodie uh, weights 100. That's how it works. Also, the cost of the delivery can be measured not only in dollars or euros or any other currency, but in percents. For example, 10% uh, from the cost of the product. Don't forget about it. And also there is per pound checkbox. Uh, that means that uh, when we have more than 5 uh, pounds in our um, order, each exceeding pound will add $10 to the cost of the delivery. I mean like um, 6 pounds $10, uh, 7 pounds $20, 8 pounds $30 and so on. That's it about the weight here. Uh, let's uh, continue with other shipping properties. Free shipping. I think that's clear. If you choose this checkbox, this product will be delivered for free, but only if uh, the same option, free shipping, is chosen at the um, shipping methods here. So don't forget to enable it in the shipping methods. Okay, shipping freight. Some additional cost for the freight. For example, you use some special box for the product. If you deliver some fragile products like cups or uh, glasses, that's where this um, additional shipping freight cost can come in handy. Uh, items in a box. Usually there is one item per box, but you can specify this. For example, items in a box from 1 
to five. So there can be, for example, one hoodie in a box or five hoodies in a box. Usually it works best with um, kitchenware, like glasses, plates and other stuff. Here, after you change this parameter, you can change the parameters of the box, its length, its width and its height. All these things, if you specify them in the shipping method, uh, they will change the cost of the shipping. All these properties change the cost of the delivery, so I recommend you to pay close attention to them. To finish my lesson, I would like to remind you that you can edit shipping properties of all products via CSV files. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCard video tutorials.